Meet John. Let's talk about acne vulgaris. Are you like John, struggling with acne? How common is acne? Acne is the most common skin problem among adolescents. In Singapore, it affects up to 88% of adolescents, with half having moderate or severe acne. Although most commonly occurring in teenagers, acne can persist or occur for the first time in adulthood. Acne may lead to permanent scarring, poor self-esteem and psychosocial problems. Why does acne occur? Patients with acne often have a family history of acne. Acne can be caused by hormonal stimulation, abnormal keratinization or shedding of dead skin cells, bacteria infection, cutibacterium acnes, inflammation. How does acne present? Earliest signs of acne include white heads, closed comedones, and black heads, open comedones. Inflammatory acne presents as reddish bumps, papules, and pus bumps, pustules. More severe acne presents with cysts and nodules. Acne can occur on the face, chest or upper back. Are there long-term effects of acne? When acne heals, it can leave scars which may become atrophic, punch-out, or hypertrophic, keloid, thickened. Pigmentation dark spots can also occur when acne lesions heal. This is more common in darker skin types and if lesions are picked at. What can trigger acne? Let us speak from our own experience. Stress. Skin occlusion for example cosmetics, sports gear, chin straps. Medications for example anabolic steroids, progestins, lithium, isoniazid, phenytoin. Inflammation. We can help. General measures of acne management include Wash your face two to three times daily with an anti-acne facial wash Do not pick, squeeze or scratch acne Have at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night Minimize stress Avoid heavy makeup Topical treatments are Used alone in patients with mild acne But are also very useful when combined with oral therapies in moderate or severe acne Examples of benzoyl peroxide, adapalene, differin, tretinoin Topical antibiotics. Combination fixed dose topicals, for example clindoxil, epiduo, may also be prescribed. Your doctor may prescribe different topicals for the day and the night. It is important to follow instructions of your doctor. Some patients may develop skin irritation when using acne creams. If this occurs, stop the topicals for a few days and use a thin moisturizer on affected areas. Restart the topicals when the irritation improves but use it on alternate days instead. Inform your doctor if side effect occurs. Oral antibiotics, for example doxycycline, erythromycin, minocycline, are first-line treatment in patients with moderate or severe acne. Oral antibiotics are taken once or twice daily, as instructed by your doctor. It is important to follow these instructions. Oral antibiotics take 6 to 8 weeks to achieve results, and are usually required to be taken for several months thereafter. Oral contraceptives is an option for treatment of acne in female patients. Oral isotretinoin is the strongest oral treatment for acne and is used for patients with severe acne or patients who do not respond to other treatments. Results are seen within a few weeks, but treatment is required for at least 6 months to 1 year. Blood tests are required before and during treatment, to monitor for liver and cholesterol problems. Pregnancy tests are required for females before and during treatment. Common side effects of oral isotretinoin include dry skin, dry eyes and dry mouth. Less common side effects include nosebleeds, hair loss, headache and muscle pain. 
isotretinoin can cause severe developmental defects in unborn babies. It is important that female patients taking isotretinoin do not get pregnant. Your doctor will discuss effective birth control with you. If you suspect you're pregnant while on isotretinoin, you must stop taking it and inform your doctor immediately.